Welcome to this Pygame tutorial. This video is going to explain the code um, for the example that makes a image appear on screen and you can control where that image is. So in this example you can use the up and down arrow and the Pygame logo moves up and down. So hopefully you've downloaded the code that goes with this video. It starts with a function um, which we made just for convenience, it's called wait for key, which pauses the whole program until the user presses just one key. It's not the ideal way to get user input um, because the whole program does pause, which means if you wanted to make a game with any animation later on, we'd have to um, do a different way of getting user input. But for now, it's a nice simple way of um, letting the user type a key and then working out which key they pressed. Okay, so um, the new parts of this code from previous videos uh, are we've got a variable called img logo, image logo. And we're using Pygame, the image library, to load um, a file called pygame.png, which it expects to find in the images folder, which should be in the same folder as the, um, the code that we're currently running. Got two more variables, which are the coordinates, the x that's across and y that's up and down, um, of where the image is going to display on screen. And then, in our game loop, um, first of all, we fill the whole screen in white. And this blit function here, onto the screen, once we filled it in white, we're copying, that's what blit means, it copies all of the, um, the image from the image that we've loaded from file onto the coordinates at x, y. So that will appear at the top left. So the coordinates are measured from 0, 0 will be top left. Um, and then um, our window is 800 pixels wide by 600 pixels um, high. Okay, then we wait for a key and we save the key that we've pressed into the variable key um, and we work out if we press Q or escape to quit the whole program which would break out of our loop which loops around here, all of this stuff keeps looping continuously um, but if we don't press Q or escape but we do press the up arrow then we decrease the Y coordinate by 10 which is the same as moving up by 10 or, if we press down, then we increase the Y coordinate, which is the same as moving down by 10 pixels. And we keep looping on round. So, the challenges for this one to try and adapt it is you can try and change it so it displays a different image, loading a different image from file. You can try and detect the left and right arrows and change the X coordinates instead. You can try and put some if statements in to try and check um, to make sure that you can't move the image off the edges of the screen. Um, and you can try and have two different images so that you've got not just IMG logo, um, you've got um, a different one as well. Uh, and you can try and move one with the arrow keys and one with WASD.